Hi, my name is Shu, and this is a work with Rafael Del Pino. So what we do is that we propose a more efficient lattice space around optimal blind signature in this work. And our work can be extended to satisfy partially blindness, and it's also the first scheme to uh, be proven secure in the quantum random oracle model. We follow a generic blind signature recipe by Fishlin05, where the user commits to a message uh, and creates its com. And the signer will sign on this commitment. And user, when given this signature, will provide a zero-knowledge proof that this signature is a valid uh, signature on this commitment, which is a valid commitment on the original message here. And the whole issue here is that this signature and this commitment must be kept hidden for blindness to home. And our work is basically providing a new approach to this uh, component. So prior to our work, there were three main uh, lines of work for blind signatures. One is a Schnorr type blind signature, and uh, this has been the most uh, active area of research, but Hawk et al. recently showed that provable secure parameters require signature of several megabytes. Uh, there's also a very recent work by Lubashevsky et al. that constructs a new type of blind signature from one time signature with an OR proof. This is an interesting uh, deviation from prior uh, techniques but it requires an upper bound on the number of signature at setup. Finally, uh, the third one is based, uh, instantiating Fishlin's generic construction. And Agrawal et al. Uh, creates, well, provides two generic constructions. And the first one is based on random oracles and um, evaluating that random or oracle using FHE. So this is uh, rather heuristic. However, the second one is very efficient but it requires a one more SIS assumption, which is non-standard and needs a bit more uh, cryptanalysis to have uh, to base confidence on. So our work in more detail is that we provide the first round optimal and uh, a scheme that supports unbounded signature. So uh, the verification keys can support any unbounded polynomially mini signature. It's also based on standard lattice space assumptions and it's the first to be secure in the quantum random oracle model. And it is more efficient than prior works, so it provides around 100 kilobytes for the signature. And since it's a generic construction, we, are, we could be able to plug in recent NIZKs to further lower the signature size. And Agrawal et al. recently updated, updated their paper. And what they did was that they used the recent uh, NIZK by Lubashevsky et al. In, in crypto this year to achieve a shorter signature size than what we did. So at the heart of our construction, we provide a new commit, then sign, and zero knowledge proof, uh, proof protocol. So here the client will create a commitment to this message. It will send it to the signer. The signer will sign this and then provide a signature back. And what the client wants to do now is that it wants to prove in zero knowledge that it has a commitment and signature pair such that this commitment opens to this public message and that this commitment is also signed by this signer. And here we want to keep the commitment and signature private because this is how we get blindness for the uh, resulting uh, blind signature. And we know how to do this efficiently in the classical setting using uh, LGA, I mean discrete log or uh, DDH type of arguments, but it's surprisingly non-trivial to do this in the lattice setting. And this is uh, basically why uh, most prior techniques or all of prior te techniques uh, requires a relatively inefficient scheme. So at the core of our idea is that we use an ABB style signature for this uh, signature and to, to proceed with this uh, commit and prove protocol. So for ABB signatures, this, uh, the message is embedded into this lattice and the short vector E will be the signature. And this is a transformation inspired by Del Pino et al. But here, uh, we'll just replace this message times G by a commitment C. And this commitment will be using a very traditional uh, lattice-based uh, commitment, and it will be in the form of BR plus message times G. And here, um, if we combine these equations together, the client can recompute this equation and uh, transform it into this kind of um, public matrix time private matrix uh, private short vector equation 
And at this point, this is a simple SIC relation with an accompanying efficient NIZ game. So for more details, please uh, refer to our full presentation or our paper. And although I didn't explain it in detail, the most technical part of the work was not at the core idea, but uh, it, it's, it's a more subtle part where this commitment C has to be proven well-formed via NIZK. But here, due to security proof issues, we need this to be multi-proof online extractable, which is a very strong property. And to achieve this in a re relatively efficient manner, we rely on the recent uh, techniques to get this strong NIZ game. And this will give us also, as a bonus, security in the QROM. Thank you for listening.